20 of these types of push-ups. I can't remember what they're called. So you go down from like up in that other position. Change of plan bros because I need a haircut like super freaking bad so this video is not going to actually be the tinder gold review but that is something for you to look forward to. We're going to go and shoot some hoops, have some fun, don't know what else to do, there's not much to do with this coronavirus bull crap, can't even go get a freaking haircut. Are you fucking serious? Where's the basketball court? They used to have a basketball court over there. Oh my god, dude. Well, looks like we'll be going to the fucking high school then. I hope they have a fucking court out there, man, or at least some hoops. To shoot, they did. They used to have a basketball court over there. I remember having, coming to fucking play every once in a while. I'm just gonna check over here to see if there's a basketball court over here. Just because it's a little lame that they would fucking take it out without putting something else in. I don't think that there is a basketball court anymore, bro. Yeah, that sucks. Well, I guess we're gonna go up to the middle school, high school, whatever, and see if they got one there. Brother. I, sh I shit you not. I shit you not, dude. This is my luck. A fucking basketball court with no hoops. There's like nowhere to play anymore. I guess we could fake play. <laughs> right? Make up our own game. Yeah, dude. I don't think there's any fucking basketball courts around here. That's lame. But... That trip was fucking pointless. Twenty of these types of push-ups, I can't remember what they're called. So you go down from like up in that other position and you like slowly like... It's like a... I don't know what type of push-up that is. But anyways... I do 20 of these that are like, it's just a way to stretch your body, you know? And then I do 20 of these types, the triangle push-ups where you go like that. And then I do the wide ones, 20. Again, they're all 20. I go like that. I go back up. And keep in mind, these are all different variations. So they work different muscles. Anything, it doesn't matter. You just put your feet up on something. Again, 20. 20 of these. Holy moly, bro. You go down, go up, go down, go up. Do 20 of those. That's 80, right? And then we'll do that again around lunchtime. And then the same thing applies for the chin up. Can go ahead. If I can uh, get it focused here. All right, there we go. They're not focused, but whatever, get the angle right. So 
depending on where your hands are, again, it's going to work different muscles. And because I don't go to the gym, I just do at home stuff. I'm an average person, casual male, working out, you know. Holy moly, bro. <laughs> um, so if you go here, 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 you know, the wider, it, like they all work different muscles. So I go close again. I only do 10 chin ups at a time. That's all I can do. So I go one. That's the first set. And then like these markers are all of them. So I'll do, I'll do 30 in total. Do that one. And then these ones, I put these like little knobs in the palm of my hand. Okay. And by the way, for everyone wondering, all this crap here is there for a reason. These I'm just giving away to random people on my gaming channel because people sent it to me to review. This is all my GoPro stuff. I've been trying to figure out how I can make one of the drift recording setups for the car. That was supposed to be for a Tinder friggin' video on how to take pictures, but but my dad's gonna be meeting up with me. We're gonna get some dope shots of my car and his car, the Camaro, together. I think that's gonna be a little fun to do. So right now I'm just gonna get out, go for a walk. Don't feel like bringing my camera with me because I won't have time to walk back and forth to pick my camera up. <laughs> I actually got something really cool to do right now. I'm really, really hoping that my doctor is still outside. I just barely saw him when I went for a walk. He has not seen my car yet. I've showed him a picture of it, but everybody that's been on this channel, man, cars do not look the same from in video form to picture form. So we're gonna go drive by his house. I'm really, I really do hope that he's still outside. I think that will be really cool. Then I gotta go up to Walmart, get some groceries, proof that I'm gonna be buying healthy crap, feel me dude, and I'm gonna have to go get gas as well. Alrighty boys, I have known this man since I was 14 years old in a very dark hole. He knows how far I've come, and I've already told you guys what I've went through. What do you think of it? Nice, I like the stick. Yeah, dude, six speed. Uh, pretty slick car. I like it. You ever driven one? You ever see one? Which, which is this? Is this an 88? Yeah. Yeah. I call it a Toy Uberon. Yeah, no, it's a nice car. Because it's all Subaru stuff, then there's a Toyota crab, then there's a Scion crab. You know what makes this one that one? The red seats. The red stuff? Yeah, no. That's a, the car. Yeah, I just wanted to show it to you because I showed you the pictures. Yeah, no. But I'm always telling them the car looks so much different in real person. Yeah. On a serious note though, bros, I really was in a dark hole and I want to take a little bit of time to talk to you about that. I struggled with anorexia and bulimia for almost 15 years. And I apologize if it's noisy the wind. It's super hot out today. Um I struggled with bulimia and anorexia for 15 years and keep in mind this was like a daily thing for me for that long. I didn't really have a childhood. I grew up in like hospitals and treatment centers and that was my doctor. He's known me for a very very long time and I he was my pediatrician and he continued seeing me until I was like 24 years old. I know I don't look like I'm 30 years old, but I am. And part of that has to do with the eating disorder. I never really got to form the, you know, like the hormones, what it, testosterone, because I wasn't eating or keeping any food down. So that is a huge deal, huge deal. That's a big part of the reason I started this channel because when I wanted to get rid of my eating disorder and I wanted to, I wanted to, but I couldn't find that push. I've already mentioned him to you, How to Beast. His, his videos are very, very motivating. So when I was trying to overcome this, I was watching YouTube videos on, you know, just 
motivating stock cars and that kind of stuff. And that is why I started this channel. Because if I can help even one person overcome something like I did, I overcame an addiction that I had for 15 years. If I can do that, struggling with something, struggling with something for that long, that means whatever it is you're dealing with, if you have some sort of an issue, bro, you can overcome it. Anything is possible. And I really, really do hope. I hope so much that my videos either make your day better, make you happy, provide motivation to you. That is why I do that in all of my content. But anyways, we're on our way up to Walmart. And for real, I meant what I just barely said. All right, boys. It is one. Now pause that music, the tunes, to scratch. It takes so long. It's annoying about my car. I hate it. But, uh, proof I, I, I actually did get some snacks. I got cabbage and lettuce. I got carrots. I got cheese replacement from this morning. I'm always preaching you guys to take care of yourselves, eat healthy. So, we got, like, whatever, 11 ounces of carrots. I use, like, I use a 32 ounce bag in three days, so 11 ounces. And keep in mind, I'm out here trying to make the gains, not lose the gains. <laughs> so I'm also gonna throw a whole thing of cottage cheese in there. I love cottage cheese. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I actually really like it. It's cheap. There's a shitload of protein in it. So that is what we will be having for your non-typical breakfast. I did get some cheddar potato chips because I don't have any. And I also got some light sour cream, boy. So those are the two traits. We got carrots, cut cheese, cabbage. It's just all good for you, boss. You guys don't even understand how many times I forget to do an outro for these vlogs. But that's going to bring us to the end of the video, man. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.